Good morning children. In today's assignment, you will require colors and shape book, capital letters and little explorer. Shall we start? In capital letters book, turn to page 84 and 85. Now what do you see in the page 84? We have to choose and write the first letter of each picture. Okay. See, here's a list of letters. Shall we read the letters? Which letter is this? A, H, F, E, G, C, B, D, M. Now, you have to identify the first letter of each picture. Okay? And then write the corresponding letter here. Okay? All the letters are here itself. You just have to identify the first letter, find the letter and write it here. Okay? So, what do you see in this picture? Yes, it's a doll. Now, wh which letter does doll start from? Yes, D for doll. Where is the letter D? Find the letter D. It's here. So, let's circle the letter D and then you have to copy the letter D here. How do you write letter D? First a straight line and then a curve which joins the straight line. Two ends of the straight line. Okay. Now what do you see in this picture? It's a bus. And bus starts with the letter B. Where is the letter B? Yes, it's here. Circle the letter B. And then you will write the letter B. How do you write it? First a straight line and then a small curve and then again another curve like this okay now let's move to the next picture what is this yes it's an elephant and elephant start with the letter e now children find the letter e in this box where is it yes it's here so let's write down the letter e in this box straight line and one slipping line another sleeping line and another sleeping line okay now let's move to the next picture this is grapes and grapes starts with the letter G yes where is the letter G find it yes it's here so let's copy the letter G look at the letter in the box how is it first you will write a curve like C and then slowly you will write a standing line and then a sleeping line and then again a standing line. Okay. And what do you see in this picture? It's a picture of a frog. And frog starts with the letter F. Where is F? Circle it and copy it down. Standing line, a small sleeping line and then another small sleeping line. Now let's move to the next picture. This is a picture of a chair. Can you tell me which letter star, which letter comes in the beginning for chair? Yes, it is C. Where is the letter C? Yes, circle it and then copy it. Yes. Now what is the first letter for the axe? Yes, A for axe. Circle the letter A. And then copy it down. Now what do you see in the picture? It's a picture of a horse. What does horse start from? H. Circle it and copy it. Now what do you see in the next picture? It's a picture of mouse. Mouse starts with the letter M. Shall we write the letter M? Standing line, slanting line, slanting line and then a standing line. Okay. Now once you are done, you will move to the next page. What do we have here? You have to choose and write the first letter of each picture. Just like how you did in this part, you are going to repeat the same thing. Now let's look at the letters. L, K, M, I, H, G, N, J, O. 
Now what do you see in this picture? It's a picture of a nest. And nest starts with the letter N. You're right. Where is the letter N? Find it. It's here. Then copy the letter. Standing line, slanting line, standing line. Now this is a picture of a leaf. Yes. And leaf starts with the letter L. Circle L and then you will copy it here. Standing line, sleeping line. Now what is this picture? There is a picture of ostrich. It is an ostrich. Ostrich stands, starts with the letter O. So we will write the letter O here. Now move to the next one. This is a picture of juice. Juice starts with the letter J. Where is the letter J? Find it. Circle it. And then you are going to copy the letter J. Sleeping line, standing line and then a curve. Now what do you see in the next picture? Can you tell me which animal is this? Yes, it's a goat. Goat Is goat a wild animal or a farm animal? Yes, it's a farm animal. Now find the starting letter of goat G in this box. It's here. So you're going to copy the letter. Curve, standing line, sleeping line, standing line again. And now what is there in the next picture? It's a helicopter. Is it an aeroplane or a helicopter? No, it's a helicopter. And helicopter starts with the letter H. So we will search and circle the letter H. And then we are going to copy it here. How do you write H? Two standing lines and one sleeping line in between. Okay. Next we come to this. What is this? It's a ice cube. Ice cube starts with the letter I. Circle the letter I and then copy the letter I. How do you copy? Two sleeping lines and one standing line in the center. Okay. Yes, which animal is this? Monkey, right. Where do you find the monkeys? Where do they usually sit? On the trees, right. Now, what is the first letter of the monkey? M, M for monkey. Circle the letter M and then copy the letter M. What do you see in this picture? It's a picture of a kangaroo. Yes, kangaroo is known to hop and kangaroos have a small pouch here in which the babies of kangaroos sit inside okay and which letter does kangaroo start from k so you're going to write the letter k here standing line and one slanting line like this another slanting line like this okay once you are done with all this you are going to write the letter P. P for parrot. P for parrot. First you are going to color the parrot green in color. Okay, have you all seen a parrot? Yes, the parrot is usually green in color. So you are going to write the color the parrot in green. And then you are going to write the letter P. First trace along the dotted lines. How do you start? First you are going to draw a straight line like this. And then from the top dot you will make a small curve from pink to blue line like this. Just like how you wrote B. You are going to write P with only one curve. Okay. Standing line and then a small curve. Standing line from pink to blue and then a small curve from pink to blue. Standing line and then a small curve. Okay children, this is very easy. Once you finish this page, we will go to the next page. After you finish writing all the P's, move to this part. Here, these words start with the letter P. You will fill in the blanks with the letter P and then color the pictures here.
Now what do we have here? It's a pear, it's a pot and it's a pencil. All these words start with the letter P. The rest of the spelling is given here. You're going to write only the letter P here. Like this. P for pot. P O T pot. P for pot. P O T pot. P for pear. P for pear. P E A R pear. P for pear. P E A R pear. P for pencil. P for pencil. P E N C I L. P E N C I L. Okay, children, once you are done with this, we'll move to the next assignment. Next, you will go to Colors and Shapes, page 46. Okay, in page 46, you will color the ball that is in. Look at the pictures. In which picture is the ball inside? Yes, this one. So, you will color only this ball. Okay, and in this, color the flower that is out. Where is the picture where the flower is out? Here the flower is inside the vase. Here the flower is out, isn't it? So you will color this flower. Here you will color which is inside. Here you will color which is outside. Okay children, in Little Explorer you will turn to page 33. Turn to page 33 and here you are going to learn about Places around your house and people who work there. Okay. Apart from the house, you have many different places, isn't it? Like school, shopping mall, then a bank, post office. Have you all visited to the different places? Now it's since Corona time. I think your parents might not be taking you out anywhere. It's okay. Once it is safe around, you can visit all these places like supermarkets, bank, post office. There are many different places. So today you are going to learn about the place school. Now what is the school? School is a place where small children like you come to study and make friends and learn new things. Okay. Once the coronavirus is gone, you all can come to school. Now let's see who all work in the school. The person who drives the school bus is called as bus driver. Okay, what is he called as? Bus driver. But you all can address him as uncle. Okay, he is a bus driver. But you all can call him as uncle. Now what does a bus driver do? The bus driver takes you in the school bus safely from home to school. And then drops you back. Okay. Now, who is this lady here? This person is called as a teacher. Now, by now you all know who is a teacher. Who is your teacher? Yes. And what is my name? Anu ma'am. Yes. So, who is a teacher? Teacher is a person who learns, teaches you how to read and write and also many other new things. Okay. And how do you address a teacher? Yes. You should call them ma'am. How do you address the teachers? As ma'am. Now who is there in this picture? This person is a sweeper. Who is a sweeper? Sweeper is a person who keeps place around you clean. Who sweeps it and mops it with water whenever it is dirty. Okay. So it is safe and hygiene for you to sit and learn. And you should always remember to address them as aunties. How do you address them? aunties. Now this person here is a helper. When you all come to school the helpers help you to take out your snack bag, spread your napkins and if you spill anything they will help you to you know clean things and also to pack your bags. This person is called as helper and you should always help address them also as aunties. Okay. And this person is the security guard. Who is he? He is the security guard. Now what does the security guard do? Security guard keeps the school safe. He is always watching near the gate so that the strangers don't come inside the school. Okay. They help you 
all to be safe inside the school and sometimes if children are running around in near the gate they also tell them to go inside the school and stay safe okay the security guard helps you to stay safe inside the school and you should also address them as uncle okay so let us revise all the people who are working in the school bus drivers teacher sweeper helper security guard one more time bus driver teacher sweeper helper security guard how do you address them uncle ma'am auntie auntie uncle okay children hope you'll remember all this